The geysers at Yellowstone National Park are a fascinating sight, and they've been synonymous with the park as a whole for generations. But they don't keep a particularly tight schedule. Today we're going to look at how Yellowstone's rangers calculate eruption times so you can make sure to get the most out of your next trip to the park. First off, it's important to look at how geysers work and what factors might impact the times between eruptions. Geysers expel water from an underground reservoir, and therefore the more water used in the eruption, the longer it takes to refill the reservoir and start another eruption. Longer or taller eruptions use more water, and as such drain the reservoir more. The water also has to be heated by magma deep under the surface of Yellowstone, causing further delay between eruptions. That's a lot of information, but it's important to understanding how eruptions are predicted. Some geysers are easier to predict than others, with the most famous example being Old Faithful. Rangers have two average times between Old Faithful's eruptions, depending on whether the previous eruption was long or short. A long eruption is anything longer than three and a half minutes. As of now, the times are 68 minutes after a short eruption, or 94 minutes after a long eruption, but these times can vary slightly, and over time tend to be growing larger. Check out the video from the NPS linked in the description to see how rangers predict Old Faithful in particular, calculating the height based on nearby trees. For most of the major geysers at the park, rangers keep detailed logbooks of when they erupt, how long the eruption lasts, and how tall the eruption is. Besides Old Faithful, rangers frequently post predictions for Castle, Grand, Daisy, Riverside, and Great Fountain geysers. While Old Faithful's time is accurate within 10 minutes on either side, Grand Geyser's most recent prediction has a margin of error of plus or minus 45 minutes. While this may seem like a massive range, it's important to note just how much effort goes into a prediction even that accurate in such a volatile geothermal environment. Predictions are always being tweaked to provide the best possible experience to park visitors. One last tip if you're planning a trip to Yellowstone, geyser predictions are not available when the Old Faithful Visitor Center is closed, which typically happens in the early winter and again in the early spring. Make sure to check the website for exact dates, as well as a table of rough estimates in case the usual predictions aren't available during your trip. Hopefully you now have a better appreciation for the work Yellowstone's rangers put into predicting geyser eruptions, even if you may end up waiting a little while. Thank you for watching RIC Adventures, and we'll see you next time.